Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now today I want to talk about optimising your scene and increasing things like the memory limit and helping when it comes to things like render time. And I'm using the old school method and this is for Blender Cycles and it's called Camera Killing. I'm trying to make that not sound Scottish but killing's such a cool word. <laughs> And essentially what it does, if you're not aware, is it hides everything outside of the camera viewport. So anything not sitting in the camera will get removed, and like I said, it helps optimise your scene. Now when it comes to workflow, it's not the best, and I'm aware that you can do this inside of Geometry Node. I think the node is called Active Camera, I think there's a certain way you can do it via Geo Nodes, but old school, so let's take a look what we need to do. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the Render Properties. And we need to come down to simplify and we need to enable this. Once we've done this, we can come down to culling and you can see here we can enable camera culling and we can enable distance culling. Now distance just works in terms of the distance, it's very much like a clipping. But we'll just leave it on culling at the moment and we'll leave it set at default. Now, I have over a thousand objects in the scene, it's not going to be an optimised workflow. And the reason nothing is happening here is we've not basically told the object we need to hide. We need to hide this object when this is enabled. So if we go to the object properties here, you can see underneath the bottom, uh, under visibility, we have culling. So I can enable it. Now, like I said, I have over a thousand objects and I don't want to necessarily go through every object individually. Now there's a couple of methods we can use. We can use something like copy selected, but the easiest way that I find is you select all your objects in Outliner, you come here to Camera Killing, you can hold in the Alt key and this will apply it to everything. And you'll immediately notice that everything outside of the viewport is now hidden. And the memory should get a little bit better. Good. It's a very basic scene, but obviously the more dense that the scene is, the better it comes. And that is pretty much the basics of Camera Killing. Now like I said, you can enable it when it comes to distance. Now if I quickly jump back into the render properties here, you can actually play around with the value here. It's always best just to leave a little bit at the side. Uh, it helps with shadows and stuff like this. But that is pretty much camera killing. I hope that can save you a little bit of render time and I hope it you know, optimises your scene a little bit. And we'll take a look at doing geometry nodes the next time. Now keep in mind, this only works with cycles. I think Eevee uh, does it by default, to be honest. I, you just don't notice it because it's so fast. Anyway, you know what to do. Take care.